I don't feel tired. I feel inspired. But folks, the threat that Trump poses is greater in his second term than the first. It's clear that when he lost in 2020, and I mean this sincerely, something snapped in Trump. He just can't accept he lost. And he lost it. That's why on January 6th, what happened? Every legal avenue Trump tried to challenge the election failed. So it unleashed an insurrection. And now he's running again. He's not only obsessed with about losing 2020, he's clearly unhinged. Just listen to him. He calls the erectionists who stormed Capitol Hill patriots. He says if reelected, he wants, quote, every one of them pardoned. Let me ask you, what do you think he would have done on January the 6th if black Americans had stormed the Capitol? No, I'm serious. What do you think? I can only imagine. This time he's telling people he's being more honest. He said, I'll be a dictator on day one. Asked if he thought violence would occur if he lost. He said, quote, it depends. How can it be that any American president cannot denounce political violence? I know I can, I will, and I have. Political violence has no place in America, period. But that's not Donald Trump. Donald Trump has said if he loses again in November, there will be, quote, bloodshed. What in God's name are we talking about here? It's the United States of America. Folks, Trump isn't running to lead America. He's running for revenge. But revenge is no way to lead a country. He can't build a future on revenge. He can't build better lives through revenge. That's why I'm running to lead America into the future, a future of promise and hope and possibilities, because that's who we are, a nation of possibilities.